Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video of Saturday Morning Rewind, showcasing some of our favorite voice actors from the past and the present. I know, it's crazy. Two videos in one week. I think we've already posted more videos than we did all of 2021, but uh, that's in the past. So for today's video, I'm going to be showcasing one of my all-time favorite voice actors, Hal Smith. Hal was born on August 24th, 1916 in Michigan. He worked as a DJ from 1936 to 1943. And some of you may even know him from television where he played Otis Campbell, the town drunk, on The Andy Griffith Show. And of course, in the voiceover world, he was a voice of Al in Disney's Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And he also voiced Goofy in Mickey's Christmas Carol. And of course, one of my favorite characters of all time, Flintheart Glomgold from the original DuckTales. We lost Hal on January 28, 1994, at the age of 77, from a heart attack. What are some of your favorite roles that Hal did over the years? I'd love to hear about it. And also, make sure to check out my personal vlogging YouTube channel. I'll leave a link down below. But anyways, enjoy the video. Hope you guys like it. Completed 120 episodes of Winnie the Pooh for for the Disney people. Yes, 120 episodes and uh, 120 Dumbo circus shows. And you play which characters? Well, I do Winnie the Pooh, the poor little fat cutting bear. They love him. Oh, I always do the old owl too, who's a very funny character, you know. Gosh, it's good to see you, Snoop. Remember the good old days when we used to solve swell mysteries together and rescue? Say, who do you think you are? One thousand on number seven. That gravel pit, son. Yes, sir, Colonel. Here you are, Colonel. That's right, son. One thousand on gravel pit. I can't lose. They're off and running. Hustle goes to the front. Granite boy second. Slag heap a close third. Charm, ladies. You are both the very epitome of feminine pulchritude. And now, Freddy, I want to see my little old namesake, Little Tex. Yes, sir. May I help you? Why, you are Mr. Darkwing Duck, are you not? I'll just check the reservations. Uh, let me see. Uh, da Vinci? Well, now this is highly peculiar. There's no record of a Darkwing Duck. Hmm, perhaps it's under Drake Mallard. Mr. Fantastic and the Thing are trapped. The Fantastic Four never expected to be menaced again by Claw. It's right beside you where you always keep it, dear. Well, just look at you, Hubert. Parted again. <laughs> Psst, hey, buddy, you got any cigarettes on you? I don't know. It's just something you're supposed to ask when you're in the slammer. Yes, sir. One more day and the Millennium Shortcut will be fixed. You know, I've been thinking, what if history is like a jigsaw puzzle? When you brought Bubba back, you left a hole in the puzzle. After a million years, the hole's gotten bigger. Yes, how come, dear uncle? Speak up for my spy camera. What you bought was the westernmost island, McDuck. That island is now the furthest west. Well, if it isn't Pooh Bear, splendid day to be up and about one's business quite, huh? <laughs> I say, are you stuck? You, sir, are stuck. Now, obviously, this situation calls for an expert. You can call me Joe. Well, can't say that was the best landing I ever saw, but any landing at all would be a miracle, uh, considering. I know what you're thinking. These cliffs are too high to climb over. Well, you're right. Right! And throw off drink all oh, regular size. Right. Whoa! <laughs> Of course, he cares for all of us and what happens to us. Well, do you remember, Davy, when you got lost in the cave last summer, how the guide cared what happened to you? I don't think you could get out of here even if you could walk. I'm hungry. Sir, so we are soliciting funds for the uh, indigent and destitute. Oh, we wouldn't do that, Mr. Scrooge. Oh, gosh, kind of slippery. <laughs> I was your partner. Jacob Marley. Ebenezer, 
Remember when I was alive, I robbed the widows and swindled the poor? Pre-sweetened Kool-Aid. Sweetened without sugar. But who ever heard of a wabbit on a Kool-Aid package? If it's true, I'll buy every package and drink every drop. Not to mention Santa's. I'd better be flying, my friends, or my wife will be mad too. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fred. I should have told you. You just lay your finger alongside your nose and give a nod. I definitely kidnapped again. Idiot! You better find three miles to So, dear brother, you bring Dirk here. You collisionist, clanking piece of junk. Dirk will be helpless once you've been sunk. <laughs> Bye-bye, Yogi. I hear you're being shipped out, Yogi, so I'm taking over your cave. From now on, Yogi, I'm going to be the number one bear around here instead of you. Oh, I see you made it. Well, bring the dog and come in. As you all know, I am Cosgood Creeps, attorney of the late Colonel Sanders. Hmm, this is a very good fur cone, and something ought to rhyme to it. Now, fur cones belong in trees, up high with the buzzing bees. But this one I found down on the ground. Oh, Eeyore. <laughs> yes, I... Uh, it... What are you giving him, Pooh? <laughs> You're mine! Now get to work! Ah, but leprechauns aren't just a story, Henry. Leprechauns are real. They are wonderful creatures, Henry. Each leprechaun has a pot of gold. I, your mayor, welcome this great structure brought here by our own prominent citizen, Warner Applegate III. Your job isn't finished yet. Quickly, get rid of those ghosts for us. Hurry! Negotiating! I'll not be negotiating with the likes of you. Sure, and you've hit on it, me boy, yo. That's it, that's it. I uh, think I've got this thing figured out. So uh, keep an eye on things till I get back, okay? But better not touch. Now, now, Evelyn, I've always tried to be helpful. Sometimes things just get a little out of hand, that's all. The horses are at the starting gate, and any second they'll be up for the million dollar sweepstakes. There goes the gun. They're off. Cook it up. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hey, there's pussy willow pixies around here somewhere. I feel it in my watch. Wartless, how many times must we tell you to stop following us? Our Christmas mail started. First letter this year. Who wrote this long note? Just who could it be? Hi. I've made myself small and flown down to tell you I know about all. Now the Swamp Town kids thank you and ask me to bring their hero and friend some magical thing. Oh, hello, Mr. Crabtree. I'd be glad to take care of your dog. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I got a promotion out of this. Uh. Beats me, Billy. Maybe he's got into some fermented jujubes or something. We're not going to eat you. It's ten times our size. Evil yellow eyes stare right into your soul. What is a stranger, you ask? Well, let's see. Think, think, think. Well, it's not an easy thing to explain. I know how to help myself when I'm home alone, and I can tell you how to be too smart for strangers whenever you're home alone. With those meddling musicians out of the way, I can proceed to freeze the city! The impossibles again! I thought we got rid of that tiresome trio! <laughs> and now to take some microfilm pictures of the secret plans! Give up! You're caught! Come out, Sinister! The game's over! 
my laser beam will cut through that steel deck like putty. The priceless Pizzicasso painting is mine. Why, that's not the sheriff for chasing me. It's the Impossibles, city-type sheriffs. Just for that, my lunar lariat's taking you to the moon. I have waited all year for this day to give life to those balloon characters with my electro-oxygen ray gun. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present the stick-up. <laughs> you handsome spinner, you, and with a million-dollar tiara, too. <laughs> well, let's not have any hard feelings, boys. Here, have us some boxing gloves. You are so ugly, you are ugly, ugly. I must get rid of that beast. He makes my whole pet shop ugly. Well, get over here right away. A doggone droll weevil is ruining all my crops. You sure can. Hey, what's the gun for? For rewarding idiots to ruin my farm. Mariah, will you also take a whiff? Excellent suggestion, Eukariah. Area code 519006. I am Otto the chef. You waiters will help me prepare the food. Ah, ha. What is your specialty? In the winter, we do not fix picnic baskets. After all these years, I still don't have the hang of it. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Say, we're wearing the same outfit. A poop peep pop, or is it poop peep pop poop? Yappee! I wonder what KP stands for. It's Sea Biscuit. No, no. My last name is Biscuit. My first initial is C for Charlie. Everybody out to push. Have to, miss. Uh, we're going north. And north is all as uphill, you know. <laughs> I'll gobble her up in one bite. Snarks get nothing. You don't even scare anybody. The young boy is Xavier Roberts. He happened on the Cabbage Patch one day by accident, and him and me are the kid's only friends from the outside world. I suppose old Nana the Bear and her cubs are about bedded down for the winter. Yoo-hoo! Anyone home? Oh, that's all right, kid. I'm used to an unusual welcome around here. Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas to all! Perhaps I can throw a little light on that. That was a nice piece of work with the boulder rub. Terrific catch here. Carrot pate? Hmm. Outstanding, madam. Outstanding. And Castle Park, your wish has been heard and your wish has been granted. Me boy, playing this piano is as easy as pie. Just watch what I do. Attention, attention all fairies. You know what I think? I, I think I'm going to get away from it all. You know, Mr. President, I've been coming to this valley for nearly 35 years now, and each visit is more inspiring than the last. Oh, this valley is like an immense hall or a temple that's uh, lighted from above, but no temple made with hands, Mr. President, can compare with Yosemite. I do not the music recognize. Who composed, please? And how still could there be music if nobody wrote it? Hey, a wall track is the road to Oz. There's wonder in Paschetti. What do you make of that? Uh, I feel I might quaint myself. Note? No? Oh, yes, the note. <laughs> Very scary. Very scary. <laughs> You're afraid of me? Harry! Harry! Here's some extra, Lucy, because you missed lunch. It's not my fault. Be right there, sir. Can't we stop for today? Maybe we shouldn't try this one. Oh, good day, everyone. I hope you don't mind my dropping in on you unannounced. Not fly. Nonsense. I can fly perfectly. Ha, 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 ha,
Stop! Please stop! I have done nothing. My master is a rich and powerful man. If you do not let me go, he will come and destroy you all.